Hey guys, what's going on? It's Man Mumble King Clutch here, and today, guys, it's outside very windy. We have like freezing rain right now, which sucks. This whole video, guys, I'm gonna be telling you guys my predictions on how I feel this NBA playoffs is going to go now. I know some games are being played right now or have already been played, like the Warriors Spurs game and the um, Raptors game is being played right now, and then later tonight, you know, another games are gonna happen, like the Heat and the Sixers. My opinions, obviously, I can be wrong. You guys can disagree with me, whatever. This is just what I think is going to happen with the NBA playoffs this year. The Rockets and the Timberwolves. Now, really, I think that's going to be a pretty good series. Depending on how Jimmy Butler plays, that could be a very close series along the same thing as if Cat plays very well, that series could get close. So, like, James Harden and the Rockets, Chris Paul and the Rockets are going to be able to pull that one off and get the W there. A Thunder and the Jazz. Now, um, obviously, I'm going to say I, I'm having the Thunder. I'm going to have the Thunder win. I want the Thunder to win the finals every single year, but um, the Jazz and the Thunder, that should be a good series. Donovan Mitchell, very well. But I feel like that the Thunder actually do have a pretty good chance of beating them just because they do have a lot of star power. They got, you know, if most likely, at least with the, I'm going to say this with the Warriors too, like, if you can't lock, like, you can lock up one person one game, but most likely one of the other people are going to go off. Like with the Thunder, if you, get, if you lock up Russ, most likely Paul George is going to go off or Carmelo is going to go off. Russ will go off. One of the three, Steven Adams will go off. One of them will go off. The Oklahoma City Thunder over the Jazz there. We got the Pelicans and the Trailblazers. Now, these are going to be great games. Now, with this one, I like Damian Lillard a lot. I like CJ McCollum. I like Anthony Davis. I'm going to go with the Pelicans. I feel like the Pelicans can beat the Blazers. It's going to be a very close series. That series is going to be, I, I'm almost 100% sure, it's going to be close. I feel like that one's going to be close because they're doing this without DeMarcus Cousins. They still have Anthony Davis, arguably one of the best or the best power forward in the league right now. DeMarcus Cousins right now, and they're doing it without him, which is kind of insane. The Warriors and the Spurs, the league will win that. Um, since Kawhi's out, I mean, Curry out this round, but it's not going to really matter. If they add Kawhi, it might be a little bit different. Um, you know, if Kawhi plays very well, but there I'm going to have to go with the Warriors. Now, on to the East, we got the uh, Raptors and the Wizards. Now, this isn't really a 1-8 matchup because usually the Wizards are like a 4-5 seed. They're usually not an 8th seed. Raptors have been playing very well. Um, the Raptors were actually losing at halftime, but I feel like the whole series-wise, the Raptors are going to, you know, get the W in that one over the Wizards. John Wall still probably played very well multiple times. Then next up, we got the Cavs and the Pacers. Now, this. This, I feel bad for LeBron. He has to deal with Lance Stevenson. Like, he's going to be blowing in his ear doing all this kind of crap the whole series get an interesting series if Victor Oladipo plays very well that's gonna be tough LeBron and the Cavs are gonna get the W on that one Sixers and the Heat now this is another this is gonna be a great series it will Embiid it'd be even better because it's white side but obviously Embiid's out right now uh, Sixers are gonna come home with a W there over the Heat now that should be a good series if Dragic should all them play very well Dwayne Wade Hassan Whiteside and then if Ben Simmons I obviously I just feel like the Sixers as lately have been playing very very well around like a 60 game win streak so I feel like the Sixers are gonna win there now we're down under the last um you know of the regular games we got the Celtics versus the Bucks now this normally I would say the Celtics but since Kyrie's out I gotta go with the Bucks I gotta go with Giannis and the Bucks if Kyrie wasn't hurt I definitely say the Celtics but since Kyrie's hurt they don't have Gordon Hayward if they had Gordon Hayward and Kyrie I honestly picked them as a finals like I They'd be Eastern Conference semifinals, Eastern Conference finals, possibly finals if they both weren't hurt. With the Bucks there for the kind of the upset. It's so OKC. Now this, um, my brother's a huge Rockets fan. We have fa family down in Texas. Well, OKC to win, but I feel like the Rockets will be able to take home the dub. But really, the few teams I feel like can actually beat the Rockets are the Thunder and the Warriors just because they have a lot of star power. I feel like the Rockets will take the W in that if they do play, which is very hard for me to say. I'm not going to be biased. They're very close series, and obviously, personally, I want the Thunder to win. I really, really want the Thunder to win, but, you know, the Rockets might get the W there. Versus the Warriors, I gotta go with the Warriors. I don't think um, the Pelicans, you know, have enough wing defense to guard KD and Steph once Steph comes back. Western Conference Finals, we're gonna have the Rockets versus the Warriors. Cavaliers is just with LeBron. I feel like LeBron just, you know, obviously when he gets into playoff time, it's go, go, go mode. He wants to win. He wants another ring. So you gotta go with LeBron. You can't argue with LeBron. You have to agree with LeBron. You have to say, you know, he's one of the best players of all time. So I gotta say, um, the Cavs will probably go to the Eastern Conference Finals. I feel like the Sixers will, um, you know, uh, beat the Bucks in that round and go to face the Cavs in the Eastern Conference Finals. Now for my Western Conference side, uh, um, you know, go to the Finals. I gotta go with the Rockets. Um, now I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just excited for a new Finals this year, new teams. You know, that'd be kind of cool. But I do gotta go with the Rockets there. Side we'd have the Cavs versus the Sixers. Now that is gonna be like all those games that they've played have been very intense, very you know, just um, nail biters, very close games 
very scrappy. The Sixers do have a good chance against the Cavs, but I gotta go with the Cavs. They bet against LeBron in the playoffs. In the finals, we'd have the Cavs versus the Rockets, and I gotta go with the Rockets over the Cavs. I just feel like James Harden, Chris Paul, and, you know, Capella have so many shooters on that team, and they're just a team. So, guys, for my predictions for the 2018 NBA playoffs, I'm gonna predict the uh, Houston Rockets as my champions. I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll find it in about a month or two. Excited, guys. Hopefully, the playoffs are lit. I'm very excited. Hopefully, we have no injuries. I'm hoping for that. But anyways, guys, I've been Mad Mobile King Clutch here. Tell me what you guys did think of the NBA playoffs. Tell me who you guys think is going to win down in the comments below. But anyways, guys, have a great rest of your day, and peace out, guys. Thanks.